raise your hand for questions with Kayla. Start with David again. Kayla, where where have you grown the most this off season? Um, I think I've grown just by watching and learning. Um, although I'm a senior, there's still so much for me to learn um, through Coach Brooks. Even Georgia, she might be a little younger, but she's a smart player. Um, I haven't been fully healthy the entire summer. I'm good now, but like being on the sidelines, it gave me a coach's perspective, and you see things that you don't see while you're playing. And I think I learned a lot of that in the off season. What's the biggest difference between Kayla in year one versus Kayla? Right oh, now? <laughs> there's a there's a lot of difference. I think uh, confidence is a really big thing. Came in as a freshman, um, didn't really know what to expect, and I think I was just I had like a big open mind, and I s gained a lot of information since I've been here. But I think confidence is a big thing I've gained since freshman year. What's the biggest? difference between this year's team and last year's team what's going to make this year's team special it's kind of, I feel like each year we've just gotten more together um, every year I've been here I feel like we've had a good team and then somehow the next year I feel like we have an even better team um, definitely with our additions this year um, Ashley uh, Taylor Soul, Clara the freshmen we have some new faces but they all bring something different how's the how's the gelling process been with all of the the new pieces and what's it been like playing with Ashley and Taylor? It's been fun. I mean, getting to learn new people. Um, the thing is, Coach Brooks, he doesn't only get good basketball players, but he gets good people. And so that makes it fun, like learning outside of basketball, and that makes the basketball easier. Um, I think we'll continue to gel over the season, and like each game, I think we'll just get better. Going back to Ryan. Hey, Kayla, yes. how you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm okay. I was just curious because Coach said that there were many chips on his shoulder this mm -hmm. season. What about yours? I mean, definitely. We didn't end the season how we wanted to last year. I thought overall we had a great year. Um, we definitely wanted to make it farther than the first round, and I think that's something we can do. Um, and even in the tournament, um, we had a few injuries, and our team did put in a great run. But I think we can make it even farther this year. There's a lot of firepower on this team. Yeah, there <laughs> is, for sure. Um, but uh, you, you talk about that a lot, but, but what about the defensive side of the ball? I mean, um, so far. We have a pack mentality. We're a team, so um, when you're playing one of us, you're playing all of us. There's people to your left and right, and I feel like that's something we'll take pride in. Um, we were one of the best defensive teams last year. I think we can be even better this year. Hey, Kayla, how, how difficult was it for you to, to be banged up towards the end of the year last year and, and, and in those tournament games? I know Coach said you shouldn't have even been yeah. on the floor probably in, in that last one. Um, what was that like for you, and what did you learn about yourself during that time? I mean, it's hard because, of course, you want to be out there, and then you're not feeling your best, and you want to give your best for your teammates. But it kind of showed me how my teammates have my back. Like, they went out there, and we didn't have Liz or myself, two of our starters, and they went out there and beat Carolina. And that's probably something no one expected us to do. And then they even fought the next game. I think we, we were just down people. But I think I just learned that they really do have our backs here. And, like, it wasn't just – it's not a facade. Like, everyone – like, they mean it. And I think that's the main thing I learned. Something I asked the others, you know, mm -hmm. the expectations have sort of raised. You know, you're, you're picked to finish second in the conference, ranked nationally. How do you guys handle those expectations mm -hmm. game in and game out, knowing that you're not really going to sneak up on anybody this year? You know, people want to come and beat Virginia Tech now. I mean, I think it's nice knowing we're going to get everybody's best shot. Um, now we can show, like, when we win these games that, oh, like, we didn't sneak up on them. Like, we got their best shot, and we still proved people. Um, I think we're just going to worry about ourselves, though, and that's how we can beat other teams that are still highly as ranked and recognized and just worrying about ourselves. If we worry about others, I think that's when you get into all the other stuff, but staying true to us. Go back to Ryan. You know, Kayla, what's it kind of been like uh, being on a team for a minute and seeing this program continue to grow? I mean, you've seen Asia win a championship. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what, what's it like uh, seeing this program touch so many people and the fact that people not only want to come here, but they want to want to ball with you guys? I mean, it's really great. I mean, I came here as a freshman. Um, we had a great year. COVID, unfortunately, took the NCAA tournament away from us. Uh, we don't know what we could have done then, but I thought we had a good team. Um, and then the last two years, making another NCAA appearance, and uh, hopefully this year we're going to make a run. 
it's just better. To, it's good to see the team improve every year, and it just shows like how well Coach Brooks is doing here. He's getting good players, good people, and the con culture is continuing to grow. Hey, Kayla, you know, Coach has referred mm -hmm. to you many times on, uh, on the air as his security blanket, mm -hmm. you on the floor. From a defensive standpoint, what is it about your game that makes you such a great defender? Oh, I think, you know, I'm not, like, the most athletic, the fastest person, but I think you just have to think about it. Um, I'm a more of a mental person. Uh, just being one step ahead just really gives you an edge. Um, even if you're not faster, sometimes if you outthink your opponents, that's what helps me personally. Taylor Guyman, she's mm -hmm. dealt with a lot since yeah, she's been she here. Yeah, she has. What's, what, what have you seen her, where have you seen her grow the most coming into this season and how excited are you to, you know, finally knock on wood, get, mm -hmm. get the actual Taylor back on the floor this year? I'm excited for people to see Taylor Guyman. Like, we've seen her, we've been with her all four years. Um, we've been able to see her throughout each injury and then I feel like every time she's getting close, something else happens, unfortunately. But this summer, I think she's finally, like, growing her confidence, not with just herself, but, like, her body. I mean, of course, like, that's tough for anyone to go through, I can't imagine. But I'm just excited to see her on the floor. All right. Danny, good mm -hmm. seeing you. Uh, can you give us a sense health-wise of how it's – it was the ankle, right? Yeah. How it's progressed from March to, you know, when the school year started to, to where you are now heading into, into Monday. Yeah, I mean, I think we took things slow, but I'm back in playing now. So um, I'm ready for the season. So, I mean, are you able to, what are you able to do now versus when, maybe when preseason practice started even? Um, I'm, I'm, I'm back. I'm fully playing. So, yeah, that's all with that. Mike, do you have one on Zoom? Any final questions for Kayla on Zoom? I think we're okay, Carter. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Kayla. Thank you. Thank you, guys.